Hi, Nesha is here. Several days ago, I found a post on Reddit explaining how to disable selective sound options and increase game performance. Lazy as I am, instead of trying this, I decided to wait for a new patch that GGG claimed will fix some problems for Windows 7 users. In one of the patch notes I found, fix the problem with shaders that could result in worse performance, particularly for Windows 7. While memory leak was still not fixed, I decided to try again Blighted Map and see if this new patch will help. So far, I was not able to finish any Blighted Map using the Explosive Arrow build, because my game would always crash. It started nicely, with a few hiccups, but the game was holding up. A branch can save a tree. And then, near the end of the encounter, the game again crashed. Ok, I was thinking, maybe there is time to get back, or at least get some rewards. And then I saw that portals were gone. After one long fuck, I finally decided to try changing sound option and see if this will help. In game, in options, then sound, for channel count I selected low and picked the minimum for sound effects and ambient sound. The tricky part, this will mute those two, but will not disable. You can also do this for music, though the benefit will be much less. To actually disable selective sound options, you will need to edit one file. On your drive, this is default location for the file you need to edit. First, just for any case, I made a backup of this file. Now you can right click on the file and choose open or if need open with notepad. This is for Windows 7. This is how this file looks if you open with notepad. Now I click on edit and then on find. In the box write sound and click on find next. If the result is cannot find sound, change direction from down to up and click again on find next. Now for ambient sound volume replace the number with false. For me that number was zero. Click on find next until you find sound effects volume, replace the number with false. For me, that number was again zero. If you wish to disable music, do the same and replace the number with false. Now close the file and choose to save changes. After I made these changes, I finally was able to run and finish blighted maps. Also, my FPS in normal maps were improved. By reading all the comments on Reddit post, the benefit you get from these changes will depend on what build you use, and some builds will benefit more. Also, the better your PC configuration is, the less benefit you will get. If I change my mind and want to hear again sound effects and ambient sound, all I need to do is to move their slider in Game Sound Options. Also, really important, there was one comment on Reddit posts suggesting default loot sounds are considered sound effects, and if you disable sound effects, you will not hear those loot sounds. To be sure, always use updated custom item loot filter, and after you make changes to the sound options, test your loot sounds. Everything should be fine as long as you don't disable or mute the item filter alert. Now here is gameplay from the blight map which I was able to finish after making changes to the sound options. It's put out new My mana is gone. Ah, oh, new roots.
It's put out new mycelium. Ugh, new roots. It's put out new mycelium! <sighs> new roots! It's put out new mycelium! Ugh, new roots! It's put out new mycelium! Ah, uh, new roots! Blight is trying to spread! It's put out new mycelium! Ugh, new roots! Let's see what this tower can really do! Put out new mycelium! Uh, new roots! Do not let them reach the purification pump! It's put out new mycelium! <sighs> new roots! It's put out new mycelium! Do not let them My mana is the gone. purification pump! Do not let them reach the purification pump! <sighs> 